Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to create a Weebly account. So the first thing we need to do is sign up. So if you haven't signed up, you just need to use your name, your last name, an email address, and a password and select the United States. And then Weebly is going to take us to this next page, which lets you choose what type of web website you need. So you're just going to choose a regular one. Next, you're going to select your theme. You can select any of these. I suggest using one that has a title at the top of the page, just for easier editing purposes. So this is what it will look like. It has a lot of extra stuff. These are just previews. Um, and then what you're going to do, want to do is press start editing up in the right hand corner here. And this is going to let you select your domain name. So you can choose whatever you want it to be. We would suggest using your last name, first name, uh, last name, first initial anything you want to make it easily searchable by. So these top ones, the professional domains, are paid. They're free with a one-year plan, but we want to do the subdomains down at the bottom. So as you can see right now, the one that we chose is unavailable. Yours probably will be available, uh, depending on how common your name is. But make sure to choose this one at the bottom that says free with Weebly branding. Um, and that's your domain name, so now people can search you by that URL. So we're going to reload the editor, and now we can begin editing the website. So again, there's a lot of extra stuff on here. Everything is easily replaced and taken out, so right now we're going to replace the header. And you can choose any of these themes. Again, we want something plain or to do with health, something that's really going to highlight the field of public health for you. So I'm just choosing this orange theme here, and then I'd suggest your name at the top, and to put under it your professional portfolio, but you can choose how this is written. You can also change the fonts, bold italics, anything you want to do. And so then adding buttons on the first page, I feel is a lot easier to navigate the different things. So if somebody wanted to get to your resume right away, they could just click this button. And once we've edited some more, we'll come back to how we actually add links to these so that people can just click on them from the first page and get right to your resume or about me or any section you want to include a button for. And they're also listed at the top as well. So it's kind of up to you how you want to play around with it. Weebly has a lot of great tools that we can use. So we're just going to go through a few of them so that you can see what all you can do with this website builder. So at the top here, I just kind of included all three of the main buttons that we want people to navigate through. You're also going to have your competencies and resources at the top as well and any professional works. So just easy buttons that they can access. I think your resume is the most important because this is generally what the employer is going to be looking for. Uh, and then these things, you can just delete them. You just need to highlight over it and find the X. There's going to be a lot of extra stuff for you just to go through and just delete it all and you can re-add in stuff later. I'd suggest just starting fresh to make it easier. And so what we're doing here is we're going to go to pages and you're going to start changing the page names. So it's fairly simple. You just click on the page that you want to change the name for. So now we're about to change about and you just change it to personal statement philosophy however you want to write it, and whatever you want to say across the top here. So we're just going to do that for a few of them. And they already have predetermined ones. You can keep them if you want, but we suggest just having the bare minimum and making sure that they're able to 
navigate through your site easily. And so now we're going to work on your resume page. So we're just going to remove everything here and we're going to change this to resume. We're going to just delete everything off the page, the map, everything can be deleted, spacers. And again, these can all be added back in if you want them, but they're not necessary pieces. So you don't, you probably don't need them here. And so what I like to do, rather than just having a button for a PDF, I like to actually have the document on the page. So if you go to the left sidebar, there's an option to put a scribed document. I always like to use these whenever I'm putting files on my pages. You'll see that later in the video as well. And then Weebly's a little weird about how it centers things, so you just kind of got to work around it. Just find where that blue bar goes across the whole screen, or if you want things side by side, you can always do that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually upload the file. And so you need to use PDF because Word documents generally will not open. So just to be safe, save everything as PDF and upload as PDF on here. It takes a few minutes to get up here, but I highly recommend this because it's easier for employers when they come here. They can just see the document on the page. They don't have to go searching for it or click a button or download a PDF. It's right there for them. So you can see here, it just pops up on the page as a full document. Now, I do like to add a button option for PDF just in case. Again, it's a little weird with the centering here. So we're just going to mess around with that after we do this. So we're going to try to pull it over here. So see, the whole thing just kind of gets off. So you need to find where this little blue bar on the side and make sure that they're even. So we're just going to move everything right over to the right side here. We will uncenter this. All right. And then just change the button text to PDF version so they know what they're clicking on. It, it's always capital, so you can change this in button styles if you wanted to, but it's okay for the resume. And then we're just going to upload a file here so they can easily click on it. Same file, make sure they match. And you can't actually see when I'm uploading a file on here, but whenever that happens, I am going through my files. The screen recorder just doesn't show you that. All right, so now we're back at the home page for your resume. So I wanted to show you how to add a URL to the resume page. So basically we're going to open a new window and start typing in your URL that you chose for your website. So unfortunately you do have to publish before so make sure you do that just before you try to go find your web page so now it should work for us. So here's what your website would look like to other employers right now. So then if you go to your resume page, cut that URL, and then you can go back to the home page. And if you click on resume, you can actually link the URL now. And so that whenever people click on that button, they're able to go straight to that resume page. And so this just makes navigating your website a little bit easier. And again, there's a bunch of things at the bottom, so I just suggest removing as many of them as you can. I've just gone through a few here, but it's easier to just build from the beginning, and then you can go over to the side and bring any of these other different types of documents, and uh, or a slideshow if you wanted to, we could always add over here. So that's what I'm doing now. And then we're just going to upload photos from our computer. I suggest uploading volunteer photos, anything that you feel like would highlight your experience. And then again, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm actually going through my files and looking for photos. 
and so you're able to just pull from anywhere basically any type of infographics or photos that you want to include on your Weebly page. And then once you have the photos, you would just press save on the side and then you have a slideshow here. And I'll show you an example on my web page at the end of this video as well. And then back to our about me page, this is where you want to put your professional photo. And so I suggest always putting it next to your about me. Um, again, being aware of those little lines there. They're a little tricky sometimes, and then you can just upload any photo from your computer that you want to include there. I'm just going to upload one from ESG because I don't have another photo on my computer. And then you'll have a photo to the side here. And so then you can fill this out for your about me. Just write whatever you want them to know about you. Keep this part simple and sweet. Your education, your career goals, uh, what you've accomplished so far. And then in your professional statement, you can go a little more in depth with this. And then again, just remove all these extra parts on the page. They're not really necessary. Um, you can also include your slideshow on this page as well. That's what I did, just to give them a little bit of insight into your experience and volunteer opportunities that you've done. And again, I'll show you an example in just a minute. So we're going to try to add something extra here just so you can see a few more of the tools. So if we go back to the About Me page, we'll add a quote here. We can add it right under the page. You can mess around with the font size, font colors. Um, just add, there's a lot of little things you can add in. Definitely play around with this. Weebly has a lot to offer. It's really exciting. So I'm just going to show you my Weebly now, just as a close up. So this is my front page. I have my About Me. And so this is where I included my community involvement. I have my resume page. Again, a scribe document and PDF, as well as a PDF version button my accomplishments page, so I included photos, different page breaks, more scribe documents, my professional statement. Again here you can see the PDF version. Always open it in a new window, it's just easier, they don't have to click back. And then sample work, you can mess around with buttons, photos, slideshows, everything here as well, and it just makes a really great all around website whenever you use these different tools. You can also do scribe documents for the competencies. This way the employers can just see them, able to scroll right through the document. Same thing with the ethics and principles. And then of course your resource page. And again, it's just a really great tool. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. I'm definitely more than happy to help with anything. I hope this video was helpful to everybody. Thank you. Thank you.